Hi there, it's Lizzie. So for this week's video, I want to talk to you about fit. And it's an often overlooked element of shopping, whereby people look at the size in terms of can they get it on or not, in terms of that kind of fit, but don't actually really look at the fit overall and whether it actually flatters and suits. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I think that so many women don't consider the benefit of an alteration. And this is something that came up in my recent workshop when we were talking about getting clothes altered to fit and the worth, whether it was worthwhile or not if you're not buying designer clothes. Now, one of the reasons I want you to think about your fit, the fit of your clothes, is that it really is worth it, even if you're shopping at the high street level. So it's better to have something that fits you really well that you've bought on the high street than something that doesn't fit you well that is bought designer. Because so often it is the fit of a garment that makes it look expensive, that makes it look good quality. So I want you to think about this next time you go shopping. When you buy something, I want you to consider the price of the item plus the alteration. Now this is if you're, if you're someone who is petite or you've got a proportionally larger chest to waist, or you've got any sort of body shape issues where you know that it's very difficult to, for you to buy off the rack and thereby you end up spending ages trying to find that perfect pair of trousers or you always think, oh, I, I won't get that because it's too long or it's too short. Once you actually factor in the cost of the alteration and you know what that is, so that by, by that I mean find your local alterations person and that can just be the local dry cleaner. They're often perfectly good enough for simple alterations and have the price list and know what it's gonna cost you. Know what it does cost to get something taken in. Know what it does cost to get something taken up. And then when you're shopping, if for example, you think I've got 100 pounds to spend on a pair of trousers and the alteration to get them taken up is 10 pounds, you know that you're looking for trousers for 90 pounds. Um, that's obviously a very simple alteration. Sometimes people need more from a jacket, for example, they might need the, the, the um, arms taking up, but that might be the buttons relocating, or sometimes they take, if they're done really, really well, they'll take the sleeve up from, from the shoulder seam. Um, if you are petite and you get your trousers taken up, it's really, really worth you looking at all of your jackets and just checking that they're not hanging down over the knuckles. Um, but when you're buying jackets, it's worth you knowing exactly what that costs, whether that's gonna be 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, and then looking for jackets at the cost that then incorporates that in. So again, for example, if you've got a budget of 150 pounds for a jacket, you're basically looking for jackets for 110 pounds, knowing that the alteration is gonna cost you 40. And the minute you actually account for that alteration and you take it on board that that's something that's worth you doing, I can guarantee you your, your wardrobe will suit you much better and it'll look so much better. So I really want you to consider fit when you're looking at clothes. And when I, when I mean that, I'm gonna reiterate, I don't mean just what size you are, I mean how it actually fits you and to really look at that in the mirror when you're buying something. So I hope that you found that useful and that you will start to look at your clothes and consider the alterations. And um, I look forward to speaking to you next week.